the speaking to order of the Student Government Association at Fort Hays State University on Thursday, October 30th, 2014. Will Administrative Assistant Archer please call roll? Senator Agnew. Senator Arnberger. Present. Senator Ballou. Here. Senator Breckison. Senator DeBoer, Senator Foster, Senator Goodman, Senator Hahn, Senator Johnson, Senator Kiss, Here. Senator Chris, Here. Senator Lawrence, Here. Senator Lipker, Senator Medved, Senator Morgan? Here. Senator Wynn? Here. Senator Ortega? Here. Senator Shanalik? Here. Senator Smith? Here. Senator Taylor? Here. Senator Templeton? Senator Lee? Here. Senator Vincent? Present. Senator Wagner? All right, since we have no guest speakers today, we'll move into executive reports. We'll starting off with President Powers. Well, hi, our small little crowd. Um, I know tonight's going to be a little bit crazy, but I know we're small tonight, but that's because the rest of your fellow senators are working hard setting up to get everything ready at the Robbins Center for their committee. So. Um, I'm excited to see you guys here, though, and y'all look really nice. So don't forget, 7 o'clock at the Robin Center. Please come early, and you might get a chance to meet them or talk to them a little bit before. And make sure that you have some maybe questions in your mind, because there will be papers along the rows that you can fill out, that you can, it will be then taken to students who will review them and make sure that they are for both candidates and that they are appropriate, and then they will be given to the moderator. Um, all questions are going to be reviewed for, through this panel. The moderator doesn't get to choose any of the questions. Um, he hasn't had any say or insight, he doesn't even know what they are. So just so that's clear for everyone, um, it, there will be a statement made later about it, but just so everyone knows how the questions are chosen. Um, this week has been really crazy with some of our exec staff members going to the hospital a couple of times, and <laughs> including myself last week. So it's been a little crazy um, getting this forum together. Uh, but there's a lot of other things going on right now. Um, some of you may have heard in the office. And next week, we will be having our first reading of a resolution in regards to an amendment to a piece of legislation that the Committee of Presidents would like to see done by the Kansas Board of Regents. I kind of brought it up last time when I came back from k -Board, but we will actually be having our resolution next week. So that'll be maybe ready down in the office um, not too long from now, so you can come read that. And if you do have a New York Little, if you will, um, make sure you come down to my office before, hopefully before noon tomorrow. You can do it after the forum tonight or after meeting tonight. Um, just come and write your letter. They're in my office. Um, the cards, all you have to do is write your letter, put an envelope, put their name on it. Um, I'm still missing two guys. I need two guys. So if you don't have a little from New York yet and you're a guy, come find me. Or if you know someone that might be interested, come find me. Um, other than that, I'll just leave it at that for now. Thanks, guys. All right. Um, this week, it was my first official week in the office, so that's pretty exciting. Um, this week, oh, my office hours are posted on the market board, so if any of you get a hold of me, I will be in the office at those times. Um, this week, as President Power said, it was a little crazy. We all had to step in um, a little to help with the candidate forum. Um, this afternoon, I attended the Higher Education Student Affairs Social, and that was pretty interesting. I heard uh, Keegan Nichols uh, speak, and it was really inspirational. Um, this week, I also sent out an all-student email to fill vacant seats for our Senate. Um, I so far got one response, so that's pretty awesome. Um, 
Make sure you are completing your office hours, Senators. Um, this sign in or the sign up sheet for your office hours is downstairs. If you completed something, I will be checking those at the end of this week and emailing you those who haven't completed it or if you just forgot to sign it. Um, and then any new Senators, please come up here um, after the meeting. I need you to sign a code of conduct contract that the other senators have signed previously. Um, as you all were walking in the door, Administrative Art Assistant Archer might have handed you a pen. This is for the Spillies Lecture Series on Monday. It's for Jay Carney. Uh, if you would like to attend, I do have tickets provided by Vince Bauhe. So if you want those, come to me after the meeting. Uh, make sure to thank him for those. And other than that, that's all I have. Treasurer Taylor. Well, this week on Monday, I was uh, out at the foundation at 8 a.m. and took some checks out there for the iPad Tiger. I think that's still going on. I think not all the money's been distributed yet. Um, next week, I'll have your returns report for you, and so you can look, look out for that next week. Um, this week, I was also helping with the candidate forum. I'm driving a golf cart this afternoon. I've seen a couple of you, with, along with my excellent driving skills. The Ministry of Business and Archer can yeah, verify that. And then also, going along with what um, Vice President Gonzalez said, uh, also on Monday from 3 to 4, there's a meet and greet with Jay Carney. So if any of you would like to take part in that, just come up and talk to me. Go ahead and get your name now on the list as well. So other than that, that's all I got. Up next, we have Chief Steph Hand. Okay, hi everybody. It's been kind of a crazy week. Um, President Powers and I were hospital buddies over the last week, so that was fun. Um, I also was working on promoting the free rides to the polls that are going to be on Tuesday. Um, make sure that if you have anybody who um, can't get to the polls on election day, that um, SGA will be giving rides every hour on the hour to the polls. We have a map, so all they need is their valid ID. It doesn't have to be a driver's license. It can be the student ID, it can be a passport, social security card, non-driver's license, anything that's a valid state-issued ID will work. Um, and then we will take your address and look at the map, see where the map is, and depending on where your address is, we'll take you to that polling station, drop you off there, and then let you go, come pick you back up after we get everybody else taken care of. So, it'll be really fun, so you should come um, see that, and also that way you can vote. Um, that will be from 9 to 5, I believe, and so different exact staff members will be driving the bus throughout the day. Um, I also did a lot of work with the candidate forum, this week, so please come and enjoy that. It'll be really interesting. I'm really excited to see how it goes. And um, in regards to my office hours this week, um, tomorrow I will be gone from the office, and then I will also be gone um, on election day. So if you can't find me, that's why I'm out there, because I'm off. So thank you, and if you need anything, please come find me. Campus Relations Director Reyes is currently helping um, the Community Relations and Programming Committee set up for the candidate forum. So that will lead us to Legislative Affairs Director Gretz. Um, like everyone else, I've just been helping out with the candidate forum. I sent the press release out this week, and I've just kind of done just a few little odds and ends things to help out with everything. So come on, I see you all the time. Community Relations Director Avalos. Hello everyone. Um, so this week on Tuesday I attended the workshop of response to violence in the workplace um, in representation of SGA. So that was nice. We also had a table out there and uh, people were able to look at what we're doing right now, which um, the most recent thing is the forum. I also helped with that. I made the press release and um, anything else really that was needed for the forum, such as a PowerPoint, all those little things that kind of helped. I also try to advertise a lot through Twitter, Instagram, uh, and Facebook. So if you have not liked any of those pages, please do so. 
And um, lastly, I would just like to thank all the senators that came into the office and helped work the tables or anything else that you were uh, doing this week. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Administrative Assistant Archer. Simple is eight, two thirds is 10, and we have 14 attendees tonight. <laughs> All right, that'll move us on to committee reports. And we'll start off with the Appropriations Committee, Senator Morgan. The committee did not meet tonight, but we do have a bill up for second. Senate Affairs Committee, Senator Lawrence. My committee did not meet tonight, but we have a bill up for second. Student Affairs Committee, Senator Blue. My committee Legislative and Political Action Committee, Senator DeBoard. My committee did not meet and Community Relations and Programming Committee is currently setting up in the Roman Center. We'll move on to open forum now, or is there any items for open forum? Seeing none, then we move into new business for the night. We have bill number 14F112, originated and presented by the Senate Affairs Committee, whereas the Student Government Constitution states that the Senate Affairs Committee shall be in charge of filling vacant Senate seats, and noting that the Senate Affairs Committee has conducted interviews of interested students for the purpose of representing their constituency, recommends that the following student be considered for, senator seats, for Senate seats, excuse me, Cody Sheck, College of Business and Entrepreneurship. Therefore, be it resolved by a two-thirds vote of the student Senate and the signature of the student body president that the above list be ratified as senator for the Student Government Association. All right, that'll move us into old business for the night. Starting off with bill number 14F110, originated and presented by the Appropriations Committee, whereas the Appropriations Committee, in a manner in accordance with established procedure, has heard a trip request from Tigers Forever, noting that the request has been deemed suitable with regard to constitutional mandates and committee guidelines. Therefore, be it resolved by a two-thirds vote of the Student Senate and the signature of the Student Body President, the Tigers Forever be funded $1,000 for the following. Breakdown, requested $1,000. Recommended, registration $1,000, totaling to $1,000. Do I have a motion to consider this bill? Senator Morgan, seconded by Senator DeVore. This bill is now up for discussion. Senator Lawrence. So we have a representative from Tigers Forever. Please come up to the mic and explain the request. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So um, the reason that we are requesting um, this money is because um, we uh, we uh, went to a conference this summer. Senator Lepker. Could you explain a little bit about what Tigers Forever does? Um, Tigers Forever is our student alumni association here on campus. Um, what we do is we bring together our 4Ks alumni with our students um, today. And um, the purpose is just to you know, create those, you know, those connections, those networking opportunities um, for our students to kind of take advantage of right now. We also like to implement how important school spirit is because this is something that we've noticed a lot at other universities. School spirit from alumni and students is huge, and so we're trying to bring that back with passion and to be our work. Senator Armberger. 
Uh, how many students do you really have this semester? Um, just for this summer, uh, we had just um, three students in our advisor uh, go. Um, usually it is just about four people. Uh, this year we were lucky enough to bring our advisor along with us, so that was a great opportunity. into what should be bill, team, bill number 14F111. Bill number 14F109 originated and presented by the Senate Affairs Committee, whereas the Senate Affairs Committee has reviewed the constitution of the Student Government Association at Fort Hayes State University and noting that one of the purposes of the committee is to recommend legislation to change current practices of the Student Government Association for the benefit of the Fort Hayes State University students. As stated in Article 2, Section 206G, in Article 2, Section 207F of the Senate Bylaws. And realizing current practices need to be updated to improve the functioning of the Student Government Association. Therefore, be it resolved by a two-thirds vote of the Student Senate and the signature of the Student Body President that the amendment to the Bylaws of the Student Government Association at Fort Hayes State University on the accompanying sheet shall be presented to the Student Body in an election as outlined through the Bylaws to the Constitution. 206, the duties and responsibilities of the Community Relations Director shall include A, the Public Relations Director shall devise, monitor, and implement advertising, public relations, and communication initiatives. B, establish and maintain contacts with local and campus media organizations, encouraging coverage of student concerns and student government association activities. C, coordinate public communication, which will include, but is not limited, limited to, press releases, press conferences, advertisements, and promotions of events. D, oversee the maintenance of the website and has the authority to appoint a council affiliate to maintain the website. E, connect the student body to student government association through social media, website, publication of the newsletter, and written articles in the university press. F, other duties and responsibilities as directed by the president of student government association, and G, sit as a member of the Community Relations and Programming Committee. 207, the duties and responsibilities of the Campus Relations Director shall include A, serve as the coordinator of all community service activities, B, attending the Chamber of Commerce and City Commission meetings with the student body president, C, strengthen relationships with the outer community of Fort Hayes State University, D, Submit a weekly report to the Executive Vice President and the Senate regarding student affairs meetings. E. Lead all partnership activities within the university unless otherwise delegated to the student body president. F. Sit as a member of the Community Relations and Programming Committee. G. Shall organize meetings of leaders of student organizations throughout the year. H. Advise student groups with respect to involvement in the community. And I. Other duties and responsibilities as directed by the President of Student Government Association. Do I have a motion to consider this bill? Senator Morgan, seconded by Senator Lawrence. This bill is now up for discussion. Senator Morgan. I move that bill number 14F109 read bill number 14F111. All right, do I have a second? Senator Vincent, um, this bill. The motion to amend the bill to read 14F111 F instead of 14F109 is now for discussion. Senator Wynn. Oh, sorry, we have to vote on all those in favor of amending the bill. Raise your placards. All those opposed? All right. Now this bill is up for discussion. Senator Wynn. Second, Senator DeVore. All right. All right. Is there any discussion on the motion? 
Amendment, sorry. Seeing none, we'll move this to a direct vote. All those in favor, raise your placards. All those opposed, saying sign. Amendment passes. Is there any other discussion on this bill? Senator Vincent. Do I have a second? Senator Morgan, all those in favor, raise your placard. All those opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? Three noted. This bill is now up for, or the, the amendment is now up for discussion. The bill's So, the bill, is there any more in the discussion on the bill? Sorry. Seeing none, all those in favor, raise your placards. All those opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? One noted. Bill, um, bill 14F111 passes. All right. That will move us into announcements. Is there any announcements for the night, Senator DeVore? Um, just point of emphasis on the last bill. Did the final amendment get passed to change 207B to 206H? Did that get passed? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Senator Lawrence. Okay, so next Tuesday night is election, so next Tuesday is election day, and um, American Democracy Project will be holding the election watch party in Cody Commons from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. There will be free pizzas from the motto provided. We will also um, talk for that. Um, we will have activities and we'll also discuss the election as they're kind of announcing things. So I have little flyers. I'll just pass those around the table and we hope to see everyone there. Thank you. She goes to that hand. Um, as you said, Tuesday's election day, so please remember to go vote. I know I said it in my report, but it's really important. Today is also the last day um, that you can send in your absentee ballot, so I hope you did that. But if you are really wanting to get home and go vote, um, leave a little bit early tomorrow, or leave a little, a little bit late on Monday to get home, and you can do early voting at your polling place back home. So please remember to go vote. It's really important. All right, is there any other announcements for the night? Senator Harper. Did we get a rundown of like the scheduled events tonight? So I've heard different times. Uh, the candidate forum will begin at 7 o'clock. Um, it will start off with uh, Sue Boulder and James Liker, and then it'll be followed by a Ginger Up, and then a. No, no, that. That way we can, especially question screeners, um, that way we can prepare to contemplate. All right, President Howard. Okay, so I know we need to start my show up in the morning, but please, please, please have a little fun, write cards, morning, tomorrow. I'd like to get you taken to the current office tomorrow, the 20th of May, and I still missing a lot of cards, and I still need a couple more guys. So please, if you need more guys, Is there any more announcements? Seeing none, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Senator Morgan, seconded by Senator Lawrence. All those in favor, raise your flag. All those opposed, same sign. And abstentions. All right, motion passes.
Senator Morgan. All right, do I have a second? Senator Vincent, um, this bill, the motion to amend the bill to read 14F111 F instead of 14F109 is now for discussion. Senator Wynn. I would like to amend Article 206A to community relations. Oh, sorry, we have to vote on sorry. all those in favor of amending the bill. Raise your placards. All those opposed? Now this goes up for discussion. Senator Wynn. Sorry, I would like to amend Article 206A to read community relations instead of public service. Okay. Do I have a second? Senator DeVore. All right. Is there any discussion on the motion? Amendment? Sorry. Seeing none, we'll move this to a direct vote. All those in favor, raise your placards. All those opposed, same sign. Amendment passes. Is there any other discussion on this bill? Senator Vincent. I move to amend the 14F11 by striking out Article 207B and inserting it as 202B. All right, do I have a second? Senator Morgan, all those in favor, raise your placards. All those opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? Three noted. The spell is now up for, or the, the amendment is now up for discussion. The bills. Right, yeah. Okay. So the bill. Is there any more discussion on the bill? Sorry. Seeing none. All those in favor, raise your placards. All those opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? One noted. Bill um, Bill 14 F111 passes. All right. That will move us into announcements. Is there any announcements for the night, Senator DeBoer? Senator Lawrence. Okay, so next Tuesday night is election, or next Tuesday is election day, and um, American Democracy Project will be holding the election watch party in Cody Commons from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. There will be free speeches from the Myers provided. We will also um, opt for that. Uh, we will have activities and we'll also discuss the election as they're kind of announcing things. So I have those flyers. I'll just pass those around the table. Chief of Staff Hand. Um, as you said, Tuesday's election day, so please remember to go vote, and I said it in my report, but it's really important. Today is also the last day um, that you can send in your absentee ballot, so I hope you did that. But if you are really wanting to get home and go vote, um, leave a little bit early tomorrow, or leave a little, little bit late on Monday to get home, and you can do early voting at your polling place back home. So please remember to go vote. It's all right, is there any other announcements for the night? Senator Harper. Can we get a rundown of like, the scheduled events tonight? Are there different times? Uh, the candidate forum will begin at 7 o'clock. Um, it will start off with uh, Sue Boulder and James Liker, and then it'll be followed by a